Hello everybody, how is everybody doing today? Uh, welcome to our channel where we share a lot of our insights and uh, exciting points in awareness as we're listening back to uh, We All Eclipse. Uh, you can find out a little bit more in the description below who We All is and you can find a little bit more about Armand and myself. My name is Costa, uh, about the work that we're doing. Uh, today I've chosen this clip. Um, it's about um, about health. There was um, one of the participants in a call that was asking, she had a near-death experience because of the long-term condition, and then she found the very natural ways to, um, you know, remedy all of that, but then it started coming back. So the insight was so, so, so awesome and so encouraging in so many ways, not only on this topic, but for pretty much sometimes we feel like we want to um, get rid of stuff and that includes also our conditions. Uh, and so, you know, take a look. It's not that long, just six, seven minutes. Uh, I'm curious to hear if you have any comments or if you have any questions regarding this one. I have a question. Um... I'm also relatively new, so I, I might not be familiar with a lot of the um, concepts, but... I well, we want to bring to your attention that you're familiar with all of this, and Costa is very confident in this, knowing that anyone can stand in front and use any terminology wherever they are within their own awareness of their own creation process and flow the right words, because we want to bring to your attention that this is you flowing exactly the words that you might not have access to on your own at all times. And so it will be very much appropriate whatever lingo you might be using at the time. Thank you so much. So the question I have is, um, I guess I, I would like some guidance on what can I be doing different um, when it comes to the wobbliness that I'm experiencing between my inner being and my physical health. Um, what is it that I can do to maintain the physical health, the steadiness in the physical health uh, consistently? Because um, I've had this journey, you know, since 2005, uh, near-death experiences, a lot of different issues, very stormy, um, uh, physical um, e experiences and um, last year I was able to get out of that storm in a very natural way with a lot of um, positive um, feelings and emotions and um, heal what to many doctors was unthinkable but then recently um, started experiencing a resurfacing of that and I was you know, I guess I'm just wondering what what can I do different and what, what went wrong in that experience. Well, there is nothing really wrong that's happening here. It is that you've had certain experience. You said, well, I had so many situations and we say, and yet you're still here. And yeah. yet you're interested to play from this specific perspective that you're in and see how much more you can experience it. And so yeah. if you've done it once, you can do it a million times. Costa always likes to bring as his example, his, one of his godmothers that had a condition, a serious condition, since she was very young and continues to have some resurfacing that happens here and there, but she always goes back to the gratitude and appreciation and positive thinking for as much as it goes there. And we're saying it is not that you're here to eliminate anything. You're here to be reminded of options that you have. And you say, well, up for certain year and the amount I've gotten myself to shift, I've shown myself the evidence that I can do it and that I can have different experience in my bodily condition. And all it takes now is to continue practicing it so I can bring it back on. In other words, the only reason why any condition will ever come back is when you are sensing it will come back when you are having the experience of believing that you need to eliminate something. And we say, you did not give it attention, you focused elsewhere and that's why you had a change in your condition. That's why the new, more satisfying condition came through. So in other words, in your fear it might come back, 
you got back into some of the old habits of thoughts. And there is nothing wrong about it. In other words, Costa likes to come talk about his coming out experience that he had a momentum of 15 years that was making him sick to his stomach every time he would think that he is supposed to come out. And then it took about 11 months afterwards to be shifting that little by little until he eventually he released it and he did not have a problem and finally did come out. But it was not one and done type of thing. All of the evidence that you have about work that you've done, work of looking within that puts you in that perspective, is what you want to tap into, is what you want to look and see and allow yourself to celebrate every moment because regardless of the condition, we at some point today start talking about predictions. You don't want to go into the predictions of the statistics of what can be bad or beating the statistics which you've already done so many times. You want to leave all of that out and allow yourself to do anything that you can to keep you in the place of steadiness and st state of balance between your mind and your body, following the guidance of the professionals if they're involved and allowing yourself to know that regardless of what kind of condition you do have or you do not have, everyone, they're physically focused to the most innocent, healthiest children to some who have the most really uncomfortable bodily conditions. Everyone is consistently dancing between the question and the answer and answer the question at all times. And so it is not that you want to eliminate anything so you can experience something else. You just want to find the balance and see the value in each of these experiences. And so one of the feedbacks that you're getting from this is that it is not that you've done it and then it's automatic thing. What is really not, there is nothing wrong and it can be only satisfying for you to appreciate and have the gratitude all the time for you to do the inner work of your steadiness at all times. And so once you, that is satisfying part the way it was when you first had result about it, but not looking necessarily immediately for the outcome, but for the balance of that which you're sensing right now, the outcome has to follow. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Really good conversation. Go ahead. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some valuable insights from this great conversation that you feel a little bit more empowered if you have any kind of condition that you want to soothe or soften up. Uh, if you have anyone who can benefit from watching the video, uh, be a doll and share it with them. And we'll see you soon with a new clip. Love you. Bye.